Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions, to give a defense. What are angels and what do they do? It's important for us to realize that before human creation and this world as we know it, there was the angelic creation. And after God created these angels, a third of them rebelled against God with Lucifer and they would become fallen angels, now called demons. However, those that didn't fall preserved their angelic status. And amongst these angels, we can understand that there are different types of angels. You've heard of an archangel, or you've heard of cherubim, or seraphim, these six-winged angels. There's also the angel of the Lord that's talked about that many believe is the pre-incarnate Christ. Now, what do these angels do? Well, unlike the demons that seek to oppose God and and his ways, angels are all about God and preserving his ways, where they are holy, where they are righteous, where they are ministering spirits to Christians, working to help us, whereas demons want to distract us. They want to tear us down. They want us to rebel against God and God's ways. Where demons are against God, angels are for God. And some of the cool things that you can even see in the Bible, outside of the fact that they, they are ministering spirits to us and it's the whole idea that it says in the Bible that even we as believers at times have entertained angels unaware. Amazing. So here's what I'd want to say. We need to put angels in the right spot. They're not God. People aren't angels either. Angels are in their own category and they worship God. That's one of the things that they do in God's presence. And so we need to follow their example. They are great examples of worshiping God, ministering to God, serving God, and being all about God. So we follow the examples of angels. We do not worship them. That's what angels are. That's what angels do.